Hey everybody, it's Bruno and MB. We're back again. Uh, I said this last time, but people want to hear this stuff because, you know, uh, Trevor's an, uh, an expert at uh, Bullseye Recruitment. You're the present CEO, Trevor Johnson. Yes, nice sir. to see you. Good to see you, Bruno. Thanks for having me out. Appreciate it. You know, we're going to be talking about something that uh, I think exists and mm -hmm. who best to ask is but an expert in this area. But here's what I'm going to tell you. Well, we've been ta you talked about this in one of your previous episodes. It's like people engage you. So what kind of people engage you and what kind of searches do you do? Right. So Bullseye Recruitment, I'm a specialized recruiter of accounting and finance professionals. So I work predominantly with uh, CFOs, uh, corporate controllers, director of finance, VP of finance. Those are typically the individuals that would hire me mm -hmm. uh, and presidents of organizations who are looking to replace those people at some point, unfortunately. But basically anyone that falls under the CFO, uh, really up to about a senior accountant level, a senior mm -hmm. accountant and a financial analyst, senior financial analyst, assistant controller, manager of financial reporting. There's a lot of accountants. Yeah, there's, <laughs> boy, oh boy, way yep. too many accountants, but we need them. But here's something that, this is part I want to talk about in, in, in our kind of our uh, thumbnail to, sure. to introduce this came up. And it's kind of like just being honest. And what I mean by being honest, not you being honest, me being honest, is that um, people, especially at the higher level, are a little worried sometimes to tell us how desperate they are to find um, somebody. Yeah. So I don't know if it's called telling the truth or just being <laughs> honest. I don't know. Being honest yeah. maybe is not the right term, but just tell me what you're looking for. And I know right. you're an expert at trying to pull it out of people. Yeah. But all of a sudden, why don't they just tell you the truth? Walk us through what, what I'm trying to say right. here. Yes. So it goes back to an earlier discussion we had about clarity mm -hmm. and about being able to provide um, open uh, communication that will allow us to be collaborative in hiring the right person. And so um, I find that, you know, in some situations where, uh, you know, we've come through an economy here where uh, staff has been reduced um, in hiring managers are working at extensive hours because the company had to reduce co overhead costs. Mm -hmm. You know, there's sometimes the fear of like, okay, I'm running ragged at my job and I, I don't know if I'll be able to train that person. I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive their training time mm -hmm. or, you know, I need someone that's really independent because I don't have that ability to coach, train and complete my job tasks. Right. And so, or, you know, maybe the company's um, had a high turnover rate because of uh, difficult leadership. Um, difficult leadership is a is a reality, and when we look at the fact that you know seventy percent of people leave their employment situation because of their direct supervisor, Bruno, that's a big number. Mm -hmm. And so when we as as a recruiter, as a specialized recruiter, I need to understand what has been the relationships within the organization. I need to understand, you know, what pain points do you have as a hiring manager? What are the what are the barriers that are are in your way that are preventing you from bringing in top talent. Um, you know, whether it's at a controller level, divisional controller, accounting manager, payroll manager, you know, the position title doesn't really matter as much as what is the reality that the person's walking into. What's the truth mm -hmm. that they're going to be dealing in? Well, you're kind of, you know, you're kind of at the, you know, at your level of, you know, specialized. When I say specialized recruiting is that you just don't, you don't pick any company to work for. Correct. Like there's got to be some criteria because you're going to be working really hard for that person for a yeah. period of time. And I, I think it comes down to what you're saying, I believe, is just tell me. Just tell me. Just give me the goods. Yeah, don't yeah. put on this cavalier approach. It's like, yeah. you know, we're a great company to work for, this and the other thing. And then... That's all out there. Yeah. That's already out there. We need, I need to know what are the challenges what what is going to be the reality when the person walks in the door? What are mm -hmm. they faced with day one? And so when an individual walks into the front, they want to know that the social media that they've read and the, the highlights of the company's website and what they're all about are, are actually true. Mm -hmm. And so you can be in flux as an organization or as a leader. You can have challenges in directing staff. So let's be honest about that and let's work together and understand how to maximize that next hiring position to elevate your own position. Mm -hmm. How can we help you achieve your results in your career 
by bringing in a complementary person that's going to actually help you with not only the technical competencies, but also perhaps maybe leadership competencies. Mm -hmm. It's what, a fantastic way to hire. You know, one of, the, one of the things that I've always admired about how you approach things um, is kind of like you're always kind of, I got this, I got, and you slowly but surely and sometimes quickly. Mm. I hope quickly. Well, so, well no, but it's not your fault. Effectively, yeah. yeah, but it's not your fault. Some yeah. people kind of go, everything's cool. I don't really need to hire them. I don't need, you know, I'm, I'm, and then you find out they're in triage. Right. Yeah. You know, the board of directors are coming down and not that right. you ever tell me the exact companies, but we've had conversations about this. And a lot of you guys out there in the senior level, you come across everything's fine, but it's not fine. Oh, no. And There's I think pressure. you have to be honest with your doctor and you have to be honest with your <laughs> recruiter, pr professional uh, search executive and, and yeah. recruiter. Yeah. If you're in triage, tell them you're in triage because Absolutely. that's how you're going to treat it, right? Yeah. But so I, think, I, I yeah, would say sure. on that, Bruno, is that just because you're in triage, it doesn't mean that we're going to sh shortcut the job. We're not going to shortcut exactly. the process. It is every time, what is your need? What is the clarity, technical and personality, character values, competencies? How does it interact with the rest of the organization? We never shortcut that, mm. even if you're in a triage situation, because really at the end of the day, we will get through the next week or the next month. We want to make sure that we're bringing in the right person the first time and effectively satisfying the, the need. See, on your side, you really need to exercise a lot of patience, right? Yeah. Uh, I know that comes from parenting and marriage and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But uh, you have a you have kind of a, a background in martial arts. I guess that's what. Uh, yes, I do. Yes. Well, walk us through that. What like what what kind of things have you been able to trans uh, you know translate or or, or martial arts, golf? They're kind of you have to have patience See, I'm in it, right? Terrible at both those things. <laughs> martial arts. <laughs> Bambino, get me the gun. <laughs> so you're good or at these the tail, things. bring me the oh ball. Oh my God, yeah, yeah the crossbow, yeah. yeah. But um, uh, patience, the, yeah. martial arts, golf. Well, discipline, right? Discipline. So it's, it's about discipline, patience, um, recognizing that each move, you know, moves you to the next one, right? So, um, you know, I, I find that, um, you know, when you're pa practicing your patterns and you're, you're getting ready mm -hmm. to do, to, to demonstrate your capabilities. Uh, it's the same thing in, in dissecting a search, really, is that, you know, I could be a biologist and breaking down what, you know, understanding what the needs are of, that's a bad one. That's not a good example. <laughs> <laughs> we are not biologists. We are not biologists. Uh, yeah. I do not know anything about biology. So what but I'm trying we to say, were, if we were, yeah. I would break down the process where, well, I do break it down. I want to understand you know, intimately what it is that is mm -hmm. important to that hiring manager. And if you're in a, a triage critical situation, great. I can put emphasis on your search and, and make more calls in a single day. But the fact yeah. is, is we're not going to sacrifice the hiring decision based on, you know, how quick we are to market. Mm -hmm. We want to hire the right person the first time. And we want to do it with an objective-based recruitment process that allows us to hire that person both on technical competency and character value that align with the corporate organization. And, and, and we're talking about, you know, your professional search firm, uh, Bullseye Recruiting, at, uh, you can get all the information down here. Um, you give back quite a bit, especially on your career coaching side. Walk us mm, through that uh, you. the program you got. Yeah. So uh, several years ago, uh, five years ago, in fact, um, I was approached uh, to assist the Calgary Dream Center, mm -hmm. a fantastic facility and, and help. Uh, basically, I designed a career development program, which basically is to help the guests of the Dream Center reintegrate into the workplace. And so in that, uh, I work with a group of volunteers and um, I love them and appreciate them dearly. Uh, uh, we have we roll out on a weekly basis, which aligns well with the um, Calgary Dream Center's uh, rehabilitation program. It's a seven-week course, so we start on the foundation of basically a job search and, and understanding that you know having a positive attitude, uh, understanding what your skills are. Um, people often run into a job search thinking, okay, I'll put my resume together. But what happens is they don't often stop and do a skills assessment where they break down their technical competencies. What have mm -hmm. they done in the workplace from each of the workplaces they've probably been in, that they've been in. Um, 
as well as you know looking at uh, their educational support, what kind of tickets do they have if they're in trades, and we really help individuals go through this seven-week process. We start with um, personal po positive behavior, values, technical competency skills. Uh, we break it into how to uh, set goals. We have a mm -hmm. goal-setting session, um, so understanding short, long, and, and um, uh, longer-term goals. Uh, we also break into resume writing and how to effectively write a resume. Uh, networking, how to actually effectively network in a relationship, not just you know send your resume out. Sure. So it's a very effective process. Um, we talk about actually even the interview process and doing mock interviews with these individuals and help them understand how to rep best represent the skills and values that they learned previously mm -hmm. and how to highlight the, that communication and how to bring that out. And then we talk about once you've even accepted the position, how do you actually now have to behave in the workplace? Mm -hmm. And how do you not only take the position you've earned through that interview process and job search techniques, but how do you now elevate yourself within that organization? Mm -hmm. And so it's a seven week program. It's uh, wow. fantastic with the volunteer group that we have. And um, yeah, it's super fun. I didn't realize it was that long. That's a big commitment that you put into that. Yeah, we meet on a weekly basis every Wednesday night and uh, we do that at the Dream Center and we do a full classroom presentation, often you know, anywhere from 20 to 25 guests a night. Um, and so it really- That's uh, crazy good. You know, it, it's, it's fun because you're helping individuals identify what their want is and how they can actually uh, utilize their training and knowledge in in getting back into a place where they feel confident about who they are and what they've done and you know um, recovery is a tough tough go and I'm not a psychologist in that in any way but you know uh, they put one pant leg in at a time <laughs> just like you or I and I believe that everybody should have the opportunity to communicate their strengths and this is a great way that um, you know not only I but my team of volunteers are able to do that you know what? Well, congratulations! I didn't realize it was that um, that long of a program. That's a heck yeah. of a commitment, and that's a, a great way for you and in your company to give back. And I, I I've gotten to know you a little bit over the years, and uh, yeah. I know it comes from the heart. And mm -hmm. um, good for you! Congratulations you. and all that. Thank you. Brother. So, yeah. and I, I and I think it goes back to you know what we originally started talking about is that be open and honest on on where you're at. Where you're at. Right, and where you want to go, and somebody like you will help. Uh, yes, you know, professionally, you get there to the next level. Yeah. So, ah, this was a great, uh, great spot. I really, really appreciate everything. So, thank you. Um, here with Trevor from Bullseye Recruitment at the website. I always let you say that because I always get them wrong. You know, BullseyeRecruitment.com. There you go. So, click down here. We we'll get some more information. You got some great, um, you know, white papers, blogs, yeah, great material there. So, we'll get get them to them. So, thanks a lot, Trev. Thank See you, you next time. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's pretty much all the time we have for this episode today. Thank you for tuning in with us. And you know what? Make sure you subscribe to our Megapix Media channel so you, you will never miss an episode. And also, you can follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we have content almost every day. So thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you guys soon.